had the pleasure of knowing Lou for 43 years. Um, one, it's his God and his faith and his church that so many of us forget about. Uh, Lou was one of the original builders of St. Teresa's Church when it was located down off Main Street, I believe in a barn, Louie? Uh, skating rink. A skating rink. Uh, he's still active in St. Teresa's Parish. He's one of the, the ushers and he collects the money. Um, and Lou has been an inspiration to all of us in the fire service. Um, we're trying to figure out how many calls Louie made. Not only do we respond to fires in Roxbury Township, but at one time we were known as Fire and First Aid. We've now morphed into the title Emergency Medical Service. And Louis was very, very active all those years, uh, American Red Cross, First Aid, CPR. Uh, we tried to figure it out, Louis, but we're estimating in your seven years of service, you've responded to over 30,000 oh fire wow. Wow. EMS calls. Wow. Wow. Lou, you're a credit and inspiration to the members of this, this fire department. Um, Lou doesn't miss a call. And uh, we have a thing at town called Let the Service Awards Program. But you have to make a minimum percentage of actual calls to get this benefit. And Lou has never missed uh, those calls. Uh, Lou has been a very uh, a sports enthusiast over the years, mainly hockey. Uh, we tried to trick him in the betting and some games at the firehouse where they were like repeats, but we can never take his money. <laughs> uh, Lou, for those who don't know it, is a uh, master a card player. Uh, years poker. ago, there were, uh, poker. There were high-end card games at our Fort Morris facility, and Lou would come in. There would usually be several tables, and he would pick a table, and he would take all their money. And then he would get up and say, I have to go home. <laughs> and the members there would always get angry with Louie because they wanted a chance to win the money back. But Lou was smart. When you win, you take your money and you go home. I would wait for the whistle to blow. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we thought Lou would... Actually, back then, there was a button in the boiler room to set off the sirens. And we thought that Lou, at times, would push the button on purpose and it run out. <laughs> so the members wouldn't tackle uh, as a family man, uh, two fantastic children, a grandchild, and Rose, we can't forget Rose. All of us know that without the, the wives and the spouses that we're with, none of us would be here. Um, they put up with an awful lot. And not only does Louis respond to the fires and EMS calls, but each one of our fire companies have what's called firemen's associations. And we do fundraising in our communities. Lou has never missed a road drive since I've been there 43 years. Out there in the heat in the summer, we go out twice a year and collect on the corner. Uh, we do a lot of charitable work with our, our money. Uh, we put it back into our fire stations. Uh, when company number two bought the property of Shipping Port Road, Lou was there every single time cutting the trees and clearing the land. So there's a lot that goes into the fire service besides actually responding to calls. And Lou has been one of those individuals that is always, always there. And I will tell you, I'm not allowed to say how old he is, but when you hit a certain age, you get free membership at the West Morris Y. <laughs> and you get a free breakfast once a year on your birthday. <laughs> now, we watch over Lou very closely, especially we, what we do is extremely dangerous out on Interstate 80. Uh, we've come close to a number of times of getting wiped out on the highway. Uh, we tried to look after Lou about a month ago. He was very angry with some of our members, and he said, you know, I go to the Y three times a week. Get away from me. Right? So, but Lou has been an inspiration to all of us. In the 60s, he served in every rank of the fire company, assistant engineer, engineer, lieutenant, captain. He went through three assistant chief ranks, third assistant, second assistant, first assistant, department chief in 1973. Besides, in our own fire service, we have a thing called the New Jersey State Firearms Association, which is an incorporated legislative body. We're there because of law. Uh, we provide benefits to our firefighters. Uh, there's a death burial benefit. And Lewis served in all kinds of positions in those, those positions. Also, we have what's known as the State Exempt Firearms Association. Many years ago, Lou received the State Award for Fireman of the Year, which was an honor. So Lewis participated in every aspect of the fire service, including being president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary of company number two over the years. So Lou has, has been an inspiration. Korean War vet. And if it wasn't for service by members that we look up to, and there's not too many World War II 
or even Korea veterans that we can look forward to today. Lou is one of those heroes. He's actually served in combat. We just had a discussion uh, the other day, uh, which was very moving, when Lou saw over 50 uh, GIs that were, were killed in Korea in the back of a truck being herded away to be shipped back to the United States. So this is a man that's actually seen action. Besides that, Lou's been very, activity, very active in volunteer service with the Roxbury Athletic Program, moving the chains on the football field, other sports activities. I believe you were a referee for soccer for a while. I'm fired. 40 years, 40 years as, as that. So <laughs> baseball, soccer, 50 years. So Lou is what we call one of our true American heroes. And again, he's never forgot. Number one, God in his faith, his family serviced his community. Now, in his own employment, he was a government worker, worked for the U.S. Postal Service there in Ledgewood. I still think some people have missing envelopes. But that's besides <laughs> that. So uh, I just want to thank everyone for being here today. Uh, Lou is our, our fire department hero, our hometown hero, and I think it's a great honor uh, that's being bestowed upon you by the Township Council today you know, for, for the street blade. And uh, Louie, do you want to say a couple words? Later. Later? After, after it's over. After it's over? After, okay. yeah.